was unthinkable even a few years ago, a procedure to change a faulty heart valve without open heart surgery. It really is going to change the way we approach disease processes. The surgery, referred to as TAVR, takes existing stent delivery methods and uses them to replace the heart valve. The standard operation was to open somebody's chest through the sternum or occasionally through the right chest and put them on the heart-lung machine, stop their heart, open the aorta, cut out the valve, sew a new valve in, close up, and take them off the heart-lung machine. Now at Lee Memorial Health System, a team of surgeons can insert a catheter in the groin and thread it to the heart to deliver a new valve with an angioplasty balloon. If we put a, a valve on the outside of this balloon, and blow it up and it's, we're able to lock into place and stay there. In the same spirit of using less invasive approaches to accomplish their goals, surgeons are opening blocked arteries through a different route. Catheterization through the wrist can be used both for diagnostic, that is taking pictures to make a definitive diagnosis, but also can be used for angioplasty or putting in coronary artery stents. The common approach is to go through the large artery in the groin. Going through the wrist is less traumatic and offers a speedy recovery. And this is often an outpatient procedure anyway, uh, especially if it's diagnostic, but the recovery time is a bit quicker and certainly in terms of walking or riding a bicycle, people are more comfortable doing it the next day. These modern methods are keeping hearts beating strong. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.